Yes, he can only just do two damage to one creature. Yes! Mmm! I beat Marcus. G'day everyone, Envy here, and we are back with some more MTG Arena. Today we are playing Azorius Boggles, which is an Azorius colored blue-white enchantment or a deck that is extremely new player friendly or budget friendly as it only has 8 rares, our dual lands, which can be uh, replaced with the cheaper versions if you so desire. I'm also going to quickly point out that in the sideboard I do have Lurus of the Dream Den. You can absolutely put Lurus as your commander. Um, I've decided not to because I just feel like you can. It's it's no no downside to so if you want to you can absolutely chuck it in your commander but i'm not going to be playing within the commander because i just really don't want to at the moment no reason why i just don't feel like it but anyway let's go on to the deck the point of the deck is to play either things like spectral sailor or miss cloak herald things that um can fly or in the case of miss cloak herald cannot be blocked boost them up with a bunch of auras and enchantments and utilize cards like Curious Obsession or Staggering Insight to draw cards to keep our hand full. So let's go into the deck. I've split the one drops into creatures versus um, support spells. So let's go to the creatures first. First, for a list of life's bounty. Um, it's lifelink, which is great for us, keeping us in the game for longer periods of time. Plus, if you can sacrifice him to protect your creature, usually you're trying to, as much as I hate to say it, put all your eggs in one basket or put all your eggs in one Miss Cloak Herald, which sounds a bit weird when I say it, but it makes sense. You want to boost up one creature and make it more and more powerful, and you want to protect it. Now, keep in mind, this protection won't protect you from a board wipe, like, say, Shadow of the Sky, but it does protect you from targeting such as when a Planeswalker ability or an uh, instant or enchantment or something that targets your creature, you can um, protect it. If it doesn't target it, it doesn't stop it. So just keep that in mind. Four Sentinel's Eyes. This has Vigilance, which makes us really happy. We can also get it back. This couples really well if we stick Staggering Insight onto our creature, which gives us lifelink, which means we can swing during our turn with Miss Cloak Herald, draw a card, gain life, and then during our opponent's turn, we can defend with the lifelink, meaning that if they attack, we're going to gain more life, and they'll probably lose a creature. So it works really well. I really enjoy Sentinel's Eyes. For Miss Cloak Herald, which back from Ixalan, it's a merfolk. It's great. It only has power of 1-1, but it cannot be blocked by any creature at all, not even creatures with reach, so it's a great target for our enchantments. Siren Storm Tamer works very similar to a list of life's bounty. However, you must use a blue mana, to activate its ability, if you sacrifice Simon Storter, you counter target spell ability that targets you or a creature you control. This comes in really handy as they can do some big stuff and we can counter it because they target our creatures, which is really good. So it can die, but it can come back. We're only four. Spectral Sailor. It has flash and flying. It's also another good choice to attach our enchantments to because it can fly. But if our opponent's playing green or they have reach or other flying creatures, Miss Cloak Herald is still our number one choice. This has a close second. For Curious Obsession, creature has plus one plus one. Whenever this creature ends, uh, deals combat, you may draw a card, but if you don't attack with a creature during your end step, you must sacrifice Curious Obsession. N note, it's you must attack with a creature, not the equipped creature, so that's good. We have two dive down. Target creature you control gets um, plus zero, plus three, and gains hexproof. Good way for a defense. If they swing into your Mistloak Herald, you block, play this one, they die, you gain life, you keep yourself alive, it's great. Three Spell Pierce, Spell Pierce, when a non-creature spell, unless the control plays two. This is just for early game removal of, say, like Cast Down, or anything they play, um, Dead Weight, whatever they want. They play it to kill Mistloak Herald or our, or our creature, we can counter it. For all the glitters, it gains plus one plus one for each artifact or enchantment you control. This includes a lesson of life's bounty, which is technically an enchantment creature. So we can make our creatures really big and hopefully by turn three or four, get a couple of these, swing for game and win, which is great. Two Starlit Mantle. This works very similar way to Dive Down, only it's an enchantment, has flash. When it has a battlefield, the enchanted creature gets hexproof until the end of turn and enchanted creature gets plus one plus one. Really good. Staring Insight. Um, this is awesome. It's from Theros Beyond Death, but Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one, and has lifelink. Whenever this creature deals atomic damage to a player, draw a card. Uh, Curious Obsession is may draw a card. Staggering Insight is draw a card. You don't have a choice. You must draw a card. 
For our lands, we are running 21 lands, we're running 6 plains, 7 islands, 4 glacial fortress, and 4 hollowed fountains. And that is the deck. We're going to play some best of one in historic and see how we do with our Azorius Boggles. Let's jump into the games. Whew, exciting. Xanthus. Here we go. I'm going first with just blue lands. Well, this could be... It's not that bad, honestly. I think we go with the Miss Cloak Herald. Hmm. Yeah. <coughs> I think we'll just drop the... Uh... Uh... I think I'll drop the Spectral Sailor. Bye, Sailor. Sorry, man. Sorry, my dude. Uh, I'm gonna go here, pay two life, and I'll play Miss Cloak Herald. <coughs> here we go. Alright, well, I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna pay the two life, because I have to, and I'll just go with all the glitters. Go for it. Hopefully I hit another land and I can hit this one and this one and make it really big. Or, if I hit some Curious Obsessions, that'd be super good. Oh, that's nice. Oh, Sentinel's Eyes. Oh, that's nice. Hit him for six, please, and draw a card. Oh, that, was, that felt good. Oh, that's nice. Growth Spiral. Alright, it says Gate. I'm just going to hold Starlight Mantle to give it Hexproof in case something bad happens to me. Mm. Well, Xenthus really just didn't want to do that one. Here we go, Zenic. New opponent, new day, and we are going to start with our opponent going first. Whew. Well, I'm not too shocked with this, although the one... One lander is a pretty poor choice to go with, but hey, you know what? Let's pay the two life, let's go with the... Smith's Cloak Herald, and hopefully... We can go Curious Obsession and find ourselves a land. Okay, we got Staggering Insight, which is not a land, but hopefully we can find one. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, that's land. That's land. Gonna end my turn. Gonna keep the Spell Pierce in case he decides to blow my Miss Cloak Herald up. Oh yeah. Nope. Boy, am I glad I kept that one. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here's the plan. We hold this one up. And we go Sentinel's Eyes on Miss Cloak Herald. And we go and attack again. And we hold the Standlight Mantle up. Yep, let's draw a card. Ah, oh, Siren Storm Tamer. Um... I could use Siren Storm Tamer to protect Miss Cloak Herald. Or I could blank this one in. No, I think we'll go Star and Storm Hammer. I think this is the way. Then we can play Staggering Insight on this one. And then it can get Life Link. Or they can just give up. That works too. Alright, Tofu. It's a good name. Good, good name out there. Going first. This looks pretty decent, actually. So, Island, Spectral Sailor, Staggering Insight. This is actually not too bad. Oh, it's red. Oh, it's goblins. I hate goblins. But we have Life Link, which is pretty good. Well, we have Dive Down as well. All right, let's um, let's hope that we can get to a point where we can dive down ourselves. 
I got a Siren Storm Tamer, that's pretty good. I think next turn we, um... I think we dive down. Oh, thank god, he played something else that's not too bad. Alright, so here's a plan. Here's the plan. Let me hold up dive down. I think we play the Glacial Fortress. We hold up dive down and we play Sentinel's Eyes on the Spectral Sailor. And I will play the Siren Storm Tamer. And then we will go and attack for 3 damage. And what I get? I got land. Beautiful. That's nice. Ten. Now, I've got two on the battlefield, which means I will get another three, so it'll be a six-six. Another constant instigator, that's fine. But with vigilance now, we can protect ourselves from him, and we'll have lifelink as well, which makes it difficult for him to attack. So that's the question: Do I want to dive down, my dude? I think I will go at that one. And save Siren Storm Tamer. Protect it for later. I mean, I don't know whether he's going to have any more removal spells. Unless he was a Saxon Goblins, but he didn't, which is great for me. So let's go with the Glacial Fortress. Let's play the All That Glitters on the Spectral Sailor. Alright, let's go combat you and you. Hit him in the face. We're just trying to get as much damage on board as we can. Alright, I think we've got Star and Storm Tamer. I think we play another... Oh, there's no point, because if we play another Serpent... Look, let's play the other one, and we'll have a blocker. And we'll end our turn with that. Now, if we can survive this, we will probably be able to kill him. We're actually able to beat Goblins, jeez, that's pretty good, isn't it? How much is Muxus? Six mana, I think? So if he sacks two, he gets Muxus out, and they all get haste. It just depends on what he draws. Like, I also got still got this guy who can block for six damage. I just don't want to die to it. So, he sacks some goblins, he gets Muxus out. He's got Muxus. Alright, well... How much does he need? He needs to... He, need, he needs to hit some big ones. This is a one-shot kill. What'd he get? Oh, man. Oh, they're in his hand. Oh, thank God for that. Alright, well, that's he didn't get the haste one. Oh, thank God for that. He didn't hit the hasty one. Oh, no. He needs to sack Goblin. Oh, man, I'm so happy. He didn't hit the one he wanted, which makes me really happy. Flash and Spectral Sailor. Oh, I mistake. I made a mistake there, didn't I? I screwed up. I shouldn't have done it. I got greedy. Come on, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. Oh, thank God. Oh, I screwed that one up for a second. Yep, you know how I did it? Stick this on you. Uh, if he has a removal spell, he can do some fun things. He can do some shenanigans. So, let's just swing all. Yes, he can only just do two damage to one creature. Yes! Mmm! I beat Marxus. Yes, with a homebrew. It's not much, but it feels good. <laughs> Alright. Um. Ooh, okay, this is not bad. Um. Yeah, you know what? I'll keep this. Yes, I'm going to have to pay two life to do it, but... You know, some things are worth more than that. Depends on what color he's playing. White. Oh, I want to freaking spell pierce him. No, I don't really want to. I'm just going to put this extra sailor. I'm just going to play this. Inside this. More lands, please. That's fun. Now, did I make a mistake and stick him out there to get killed? 
I didn't, actually. How good is that? I didn't actually screw that one up. Ho ho! Ho ho! Let's hold that up. Um. Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. Another, another Scoopy Scoopy. A mega weapon. Alright, here we go. Opponent is going first, which is, you know, not the greatest thing ever. I would like to go first, but I've got some stuff here, which is nice, so let's, let's, let's do along with it. Alright, so it's a lifelink deck. Problem with the lifelink deck is it is a pain, because I have to fight the lifelink. Which is not fun. Okay, we're going to be fighting damage. No blocks. It's got lifelink, it does. Alright, so here's the plan. Here is the plan. We have to try and get life back as quickly as we can. And do as much damage as fast as we can. To get ahead of us. Luckily this thing doesn't have trample, so we can just kind of stop it. Oh, that's not good. Alright, well you are fun, aren't you? Hmm. Alright, I'm going to play Curious Obsession on you. I am going to play another Miscloak Herald for the sake of this one. And battle, we're going to hit you in the face. Three damage and gain three life back. Sign Stormcam is good. I'll draw another card. Sentinel's Eyes is good. I think we are going to play the White and play the Illicit of Life's Bounty. If we can hit ourselves with a all that glitters, it'd be really good. But I'm just going to block the pride, mate. That's all I care about. Just not taking that six damage is really good. I will still take six, but unless... Oh, God. God. Okay, well, we're going to take a bit of damage. That's fine. You just block him. Just get rid of him. Down to 12. Whew, this is not fun, is it? Okay. Sentinel's Eyes on Miss Cloak Herald. Alright, you. Hit him in the face. So let's... Uh, what else we got? Blue. Let's put you. Let's put you. And let's end our turn with that. We got some blockers in. Sure, man. Glorious Anthem's on the field. Sure, man. In Vanguard. Sure. He's getting that thing big. Only one, that, but the only one that has life link is this thing. Um. Okay, so we need to block this guy and this. Well, uh, this one doesn't really matter. This one's we need to block. So I think, fast blockers, let's just go with the Miscloak Herald. He can block that thing. Alright, come on. Oh, it's a Curious Obsession. Well, it's not the worst thing ever, but it could be better than most things. So let's just hopefully... Alright, combat. You hit for 5 damage, get 5 life back. He is running on top decking now. So that's pretty good. Which one is the one you may? I must be curious, session must be a may. Oh god. Alright. Alright. You. This next turn. Alright, let's uh let's chuck you down. 
We just gotta stop ourselves from dying. How many enchantments are on the field? One, two, three. How many's on the how do I check how many's underneath my thing? One, two, three, and I have four. Four plus five is ten. It's not enough to win. But I think we just chuck down another siren storm tamer. And we yeah, end our turn. And we're just gonna block some stuff so we don't die. Oh my god, you got another glorious anthem. Oh man, that's bad. Come on, come on. Okay, he's got nineteen five five. I wonder if I if I put oh, no no because if I do white it, this thing won't work so sure 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 blockers uh storm tamer storm tamer that I <laughs> can't let that thing hit us that would be really bad I'm gonna flash in spectral sailor. Damage. My turn. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All glitters on Miss Cloak Herald. Eleven. Whew. <laughs> that was dangerous, but we did get there in the end when he gave up. Whew, scary though. Alright, let's see how we're doing. Okay, pony's going first. Uh, yeah, sure. This is fine. I'm okay with this. Okay. I know what we're versing. We're versing a ramp deck. Yay! Good fun. Oh, I get. Oh, is this. I'm very. Believing that this we're going to verse an Ulamog deck. That is my uh, general. Oh, it's an elf deck. Or it's elves? Could be. Do you think he's going to make us fight? I can't imagine so. More lands. How fun is that? Uh, let's just play you. <laughs> I don't think green. Ha I don't think elves have a lot of fighting ones. Although it's really concerning. But beast it is elves. Well, that's bigger. It's elves. Oh god. Jeez. Holy god. All right, here we go. Let's um, let's cool things down. Let's chuck you down on him. Let's play. Let's play this. Let's play this on this one. Do you think he has anything? If he doesn't, yes. Beautiful. Look at that. Whew. Turn four. Sounds good to me. Hey everybody, welcome back to the end of the video. We're going to look at our deck again and see what we can make the improvements and changes. As you noticed, I have added Lurus to the deck. Um, thinking about it while I was playing, he does not he does not not serve a purpose, and there is no negative in having as a companion other than our opponent knowing that we're playing only small creatures. But you know what? It doesn't really matter, so I'm sticking Luris in here. Might as well. If you want to import this deck or play this deck, just remove him. You don't have to play with me. Don't want to. It's up to you. But anyway, um, I thought the deck worked really well. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I do enjoy uh, Mystical Herald, and Stagnant Insight is some solid moves there. 
the only the downsides I found to this deck is again you're putting all your eggs in one basket, and if you lose your your basket, then all your eggs disappear as well. Luris will provide some necessary return, but we're not a long game deck. This is pretty much an aggro deck, so that's why I felt like Luris wasn't nearly necessary. We're not playing the long game like we were with my um uh my Azorius enchantment deck, the um one with core what's it called core spirit. Spirit Mansa? Yeah, I think that's the name of the card. But yeah, we're, we're just playing the short game. By turn 5, we're hoping to win. So Lurus, really, we're not going to get him out at least till turn 4. So hopefully we're in a good position by then. If we're not, we're kind of losing. So yeah, it's up to you. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, if you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe for future MTG Arena videos. I do post new videos every single day. If you have any suggestions for decks you'd like to see me cover or ideas for decks, please let me know in the comments as well. I always like to hear some feedback or interesting ideas. I am only one person. I only have one brain. So some people have better ideas than me and I love to hear it. Conversely, if you have any suggestions to improve this deck. Yes, I did put Loris in it before someone will say in the comments you should have added Loris. Uh, um, to improve this deck, let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback on that. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your support and I will see you all again next time. Bye for now, everybody.